Let's work. Well, let's hear. Let's hear Wendy and Warm. Okay, Wendy and Warm. So, so uh, let's see if I can even do it. Obviously, I didn't have a lot of time to work on. Oh wait. Okay, let me let me Take show you. first. Oh, oh, right, but that was the part that we kind of cleaned up last week, right? Well, I had to go back and look at. Oh. Yeah, cool. Do it a few more times. That was really close. Now, there's one more mistake that's kind of happened. Up. Stop right now. That bass note is wrong. Oh, right? I don't go no. down here. No, you do. But but you're staying up there. You're hitting that string again right after that. Okay, so let me see. Now, if I think about it, I won't be able to do it at all. But... Wait, so yeah, and you need another note in here, right? I mean, you, the, that melody, when you do that slide... Right? Now, that was the wrong bass note. Okay. When it comes back to... When it comes back... Now it's the sixth string in the bass right now. Oh, it is. Yeah. This, this shouldn't be. This, this none, nothing should be on here. Oh. Not yet. Right. Now the next bass note is the sixth string, not the one you've been hitting. Here? Yeah. Oh yeah. No. After you come back. Wow. I do need a copy of that. Oh wait, wait. Okay, sorry. That was right. What you just did was perfect. <laughs> Can you see if I get mixed up with really? That bar chord section sounded absolutely great. Oh, that was better. Okay, because yeah. I have Although to... Although I think I still want to change that. But so I the, know. the G chord and the F chord sounded really good. And it's funny, because when you were just complaining about the F in um, Diamonds and Rust. Yeah, I can... And the problem you had when you were trying to do the Diamonds and Rust one was you were getting these notes okay, and these high notes were not coming out very clear. They were they were muffled up a little bit. Yeah. Well, right there, when you, when you played the F... Oh, Okay, so in, in this one you play the G and the F short because right. we need your fourth finger. Right. right. You can do that in Diamonds and Rust. You don't need this F. You don't need to hit this string as part of the bass. You could, even if it's written down that she did that in the bass, that she might have done this, it would sound, sound just as well, maybe oh. even better, to hit oh, that string okay. twice. Oh, that'd be and so that much would easier. probably make you, then you'd get those high notes coming out Because I start doing this instead of this. Yeah, I like, see right now I bet those play grab all those notes. See those notes on the top are clear. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Sometimes so, you have to learn ways to compromise. Yeah. So so shorten the F in diamonds and rust. Ah, but now now what are you gonna now you can't do that. So right, what are you gonna do for the second base now? You can't hit that string now. Oh okay. no no and we don't wanna hit that string. Go so back. what do we do? Well okay, you hit so the other hit the fourth string twice. Oh that'll yeah. be easier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because she does. That's part. Yeah. Right. And that's what messes me up. That's yeah. why I go there. Right. Okay. okay. That'd be much easier because normally the way she does it is. Oh, I she think she does use all three bass notes. Right. That's her third yeah. One. Just oh, so she does it that way. Okay. With yeah. yeah. With the fifth string as the last one. Right. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. So I can do it that way. Oh, that'd be much easier. Yeah.